Cream Cheese. Hey Doug, what do you think about the 2022 Kink Switch? Do you think it's a bike a beginner like me should get? Good question. Um, so, oh God, I want to say two years ago, the Kink Switch was, was ultimately my favorite bike. Um, so the, when I first started doing this, the Cold Devotion was my favorite. Then I think it was the Kink Switch and now it's the Kink Whip. Uh, the reason for the Kink Switch is because it was only $500 in 2019, I want to say, or 2020. And $500, you got full Kamali, you got double wall rims, you got pegs, you got a free coaster. It's almost the cheapest bike except for the Gap free coaster that comes with a free coaster. So generally, if you want a free coaster bike, you're going to spend upwards of $500 except for the Kink Gap free coaster and the Kink Switch. Um, so for that reason, it was one of my favorites. Now, I only really recommend it to people who are one, the correct size to ride a 20.75 inch top tube. So the kink whip comes in 20.5 and 21. And if you're somewhere in between that, you'd probably be better off just going with the switch at that 20.75 inch top tube. So first cream cheese, you gotta figure out how tall you are. I'm sure you know how tall you are. I don't know that. Um, but then look at the Dugster Bob size guide. Just Google it, Dugster Bob size guide. And you'll see which size is going to be best for you and then what different sizes or how different sizes affect your riding. So check that out and then kind of see if the if you're supposed to be on a 20.75, the Kink Switch is an incredible bike. Um, it's about mid-level quality. So if you're a beginner right now, it's going to last as you progress to a mid-level. I say it's good for people doing 360s and bar spins and tail whips and fakie manuals and like all those grinding handrails even. Um, so it's a pretty solid bike. It's probably more than you need as a brand new rider. But if you start progressing really fast, then having something like that is going to last for you. It's going to be really solid. But only get it if 20.75 is the right size. Uh, if you're a smaller guy, getting a 20.75 just because it's a good quality bike is going to be harder for you to progress because the bike's too big. So you've got to figure out how tall you are, what size is right, and then kind of look at it from that aspect. Uh, kink Whip if you're 20.5, Kink Switch if you're 20.75, but either way, it's a really good bike. And then make sure you understand how a free coaster works and how that's going to affect your riding. Um, because a lot of people get a free coaster and don't really know what's going on with it. And then they pedal and they hit their knee on their stem. That's not very fun either. So make sure you know that. Um, otherwise, I love the bike. I love the bike. Just make sure it's the right size.